This video is brought to you by Ageless Geeks. Cowabunga dudes and dudettes, this is Anthony, aka BatBomb82, and today I'll be doing a review of the Mezco 112 Collective Previews Exclusive Far From Home Stealth Suit Spider-Man. Now take a look at the front, we can see that the figure is showcased in your standard previews tin with the Stealth Spider-Man logo at the center. Turning the box around, we can see multiple images and panels showcasing the figure in multiple posing positions with his different interchangeable parts and accessories. So with the box out of the way, let's crack this figure open and see what we have inside. Alright guys, now let's take a closer look at this Stealth Suit Spider-Man. Now I love this suit, the Night Monkey suit. I think this is, this is just so freaking cool. I actually really like what um, the MCU has been doing with their Spider-Man suits, uh, but they're because they're kind of homaging or um, you know in honor of like actual Spider-Man suits from the comic books, where like if you look at like things like the homemade suit, this is clearly like a kind of a throw to uh, the Scarlet Spider, which is really cool, you know, with the hoodie and things like that. So that's pretty much what that is. Uh, then you got this one right here, which is like an homage to the Spider-Man Noir, which is one of my personal favorite Spider-Mans. Uh, so I really dig this. I love the Night Monkey suit. I just think it looks so cool. Uh, so I really want to zoom in here because I want to take a look at the texturing. The texturing is just really cool, man. I love how they did that throughout the mask. Uh, the visors look really, really cool, digging that. The suit itself looks incredible well done. Again, see all that texture just came out super well done, man. I love how they do this like printing technique on the soft goods. I think it's so cool. I love how Mezco does that. This just came out really, really good. The hands look really nice, his web shooters, uh, that belt look really cool. It's like a flat back black mixed with a gloss black. I think that's really cool too, very tactical, man. Again, all that printing and the texturing, just say these spider bulge, spider bulge. Uh, that's, this looks so good, I love that spider booty back there. Oh my god, this looks awesome, dude. <laughs> I love this. this is this is one of my like most anticipated figures of the year, honestly, because I absolutely I'm serious. I love this suit. I think it was so cool. I love the movie. Like that tread on the feet look really good. Yeah, man. I dig this guy a lot. So let me zoom back out here. Uh such a cool looking figure. Oh, and one other thing I want to show quick. The lenses right here actually go up so where you actually see his eyes like that so how cool is that too that they even added that and it really feels like there's an actual like face behind that mask you see that the depth of the mask looks really really cool so you just close that up like so and there you go so man this is so cool i love this really digging how this turned out okay now let's talk accessories here so we got the standard mezco stand which i always say are my favorite stands for action figures i absolutely love them uh we get this really cool like tech stealth logo uh i don't think that's the proper color who am i i don't know but i love it i think it came out really cool again the tin looks really cool with this color and whatnot the black with that like pale blue looks really nice so i love that uh, of course we get the clear articulated arm that comes with every figure as well as the magnetic clip for you know wall crawling things on like your fridge and whatnot so i think it's super cool that we include that with uh spider-man figures uh, we also do get all kinds of interchangeable hands. So we got close fisted hands. We got gripping hands for holding his webs. Uh, we got more like open palm hands for like wall crawling. And you can see the texture in there where he presses the button for his actual webbing. So that's really cool too. Uh, so we got some flipping hands because of course it's Spider-Man got to have flipping hands. Uh, and then we also do get some actual web effects here. So we got this nice small one here. And we've seen all of these before. But I love the fact these are like in a really nice like pearl white. Uh, the color just looks really, really good, and love how that looks uh, under the light. We also get this one right here, spraying like this cone web like that. Again, that pearl white looks really cool. Digging how this looks. Uh, then we get this web that's like a bendy wire, which is really cool. Let me zoom out. <laughs> you can't really see that, but this is really cool too. You can use this to like wrap around enemies or have him like web swinging and things like that. So I love that a lot. Uh, then we also do get this, which I always like. 
Uh, this is that web effect where you can put it across someone's face, which is really cool. So I dig that. Now let me put on uh, let me let me see if this fits. I have a John Cena figure here. Uh, you can kind of get it like that, and that actually fits really good. And you could flip John Cena because why the heck not? I just randomly grab my Cena figure. Excuse me, but I think that's a really cool accessory. Again, in that pearlescent white, just looks really, really good. Uh, but one thing I really do like, we get an unmasked head that's like beat up. I think this came out really cool. So let me just pop this off right there. I think I pop that on like that. Uh, and then you could, dude, that looks really good. You know, Mezco can sometimes be hit and miss uh, with their like uh, face sculpts when it comes to like real life actors and things like that. Uh, but as far as I'm concerned, the ones that they've done for uh, Spider-Man here have been really good. Definitely one of the, some of the better ones uh, that they've done. So I like that a lot. And then uh, let me bring in the other Far From Home Spider-Man right here. The, was it the upgrade suit or tech suit? I forgot what it's called. Uh, it should be able to fit on this too. If you want to do that, put it on another Spider Man figure. And uh, yeah, that works pretty good. I like that. The neck looks a little long, uh, but I think you could work with that. I think that's something that looks pretty good. So yeah, I like, I like that. Put that back on right there. And then put that back on right here. So like that. All right, yeah, so I like that. Yeah, the neck looks a little shorter on this particular figure right there. So, yeah, yeah, I do like this. Uh, not a whole crazy ton of accessories, but you don't need a lot with Spider-Man. He's not like he uses weapons and things like that. So I think what we do get is pretty good for this figure. Okay, and for any of you that don't know how quite know how these webs work, uh, you're going to get things like a flipping hand right here. Uh, and you see that they have a little cut uh, right there where the fingers are. You're gonna take this and just rest it inside like that. So it goes in right there. And then you'll be able to put it on the peg. Uh, if I, this is really hard to do on camera. Get it in there like that. And then it looks like he's shooting the actual web. So that's really cool. I love how that uh, whole system uh, that Mezco has done for these uh, Spider-Man figures. I just think it's really, really cool. So I like that a lot. All right, so. Now let's run down his articulation here. So hopefully it's good. It's a Spider-Man figure. He should be pretty dynamic, right? Uh, so the head and the neck are on ball joints. So you get lots of good motion there. Rotation, uh, like so, left and right, all the way up about that far. We can go a little more, but it's not bad. Uh, all the way down that far and pivot side to side. Arms can go all the way up, down, up and out. There is a butterfly joint in there, rotation at the bicep. Uh, we got double, double jointed elbows that work really nice. Rotation at the wrist as well as hinge at the wrist. Uh, we do get a double ball peg that rolls around very, very nicely. Rotates left and right, pivot side to side, and crunches back and forth. So that's pretty good. We got hip joints, head kick forward, up and forward that far. Back, and eh, not so much. Splits all the way out that far. That's pretty good, even with this material here. Rotation, upper thigh, double, double jointed knees where he can kick himself in his own butt. Uh, let me see, rotation at the boot? Uh, no, no rotation at the boot. Uh, ball joints at the ankles that roll around like so. Rotate up and down, and a pretty decent ankle rocker. That's, nah, it could probably be a little better, but it's pretty decent considering it's Mezco. Uh, overall, I am very happy the way this turned out. I just think it's so cool looking. I love the Night Monkey suit. <laughs> the Night Monkey suit. Uh, it's actually one of my favorite suits to play, use in the uh, PS4 game. I, I don't know why. I just think it looks really cool, man. It almost looks like an upgraded Spider-Man Noir. And again, that's one of my favorite spider man So if you can pick this guy up... I think he's totally awesome, especially if you're trying to collect the MCU Spider-Man figures. I think he came out great. So in my opinion, he is definitely a must get. So for a quick size comparison, here he is standing next to a Marvel Legends Deadpool and NECA Batman figures. Also for comparison, here he is standing next to all the other Mezco MCU Spider-Man figures so far. And just for fun, here he is with Little Lego Bat Bomb. So there it is guys, my review of the Stealth Spider-Man. Now overall, I think this figure turned out really, really good and this is one I have been anticipating for a while. I absolutely love Night Monkey. He is one of the coolest suits in my opinion. Now I think Mezco has done a really great job. Again, with the texture and that printing technique on the soft goods is so well done. 
I love the fact that you can lift the visors. I really dig the unmasked beat up sculpt. I think that came out killer. Throw in some awesome pearlescent web effects and really cool interchangeable hands and surprisingly good articulation for a Mezco Spider-Man figure and you have one badass toy. If you can pick this guy up and you love Spidey like I do, then I think this figure is definitely a must get. So please comment, like, and subscribe. Stay nerdy my friends. Peace.